It is a small town, a mill town, a town in the bend of a river, 10 miles or so from Pittsburgh. It is a town squeezed in between the hills and the river, a valley town like other towns in the region. Towns with names like Ambridge and Aliquippa, Clareton and Donora, Manaka and Beaver Falls. Except that this town, Furnas, exists only in the eight books of the Furnas series by Richard Snodgrass. Furnas is a still town, a town built around a still mill. Though the mills are gone now from Furnas, as they are gone from most of the valley towns around Pittsburgh. The Furnas series tells the story of the ill-advised attempt to put up a high-rise tower in the center of this dying mill town, and the effect this folly has on the people of the town, as well as the men and women trying to build it. There is the story of two brothers, one a successful local businessman, the other the prodigal son home from California, and the struggle both brothers have with the family's ghosts. There is the story of a murder, or was it, that defines and tests the limits of friendship. The story of the town when it was just an outpost with soldiers at the Black Watch at the time of the French and Indian War. Of the town during the Civil War, when Morgan's raiders came here to appropriate steam-driven road engines for the Confederate cause. And the series tells the story of the Lyle family, who were involved with the town from its founding to its growth as an industrial center to its struggles to survive after the mills closed. The Furnas series by Richard Snodgrass consists of eight books to be released one every three months beginning in April 2018, available in ebook and print edition. To learn more about the eight books of Richard Snodgrass's Furnas series, with their stories of the people of Furnas and the town in the bend of a river, go to www dot richardsnodgrass dot com